There were some big giants that came down overnight, including this huge maple tree doing a lot of damage. Some neighbors say it sounded like a war zone. It was crazy last night. Mick said it was a raging Friday night when the wind and rain brought down a branch from a big maple, nearly destroying his prized Mustang. The mirror's off. I'm sure there's dents in the paint and this was pristine. It kills me. <laughs> The massive maple snapped off Vernon Road, where a number of trees were down. And not far from where Mick lives, a massive tree fell on a house and remained there, propped on its side, Saturday afternoon. If I would have heard it coming down, I would have said, okay, we're in a war here, you know, <laughs> it's Armageddon. Another massive evergreen was uprooted off of 99th Avenue Northeast, its huge root system yanked from the earth. I think it's absolutely crazy. The tree nearly missed homes and miraculously spared a line of mailboxes. Kay says her neighbors compared the crashing trees to gunfire. It was like, you know, gunshots were going off and it was like Armageddon. A few miles away on North Davies Road, those out getting their exercise had to walk around this tree and pick their way through downed utility lines. You got to keep going. <laughs> you got to get your miles in. John says the power in this neighborhood went out at around midnight. Oh, just a mess of trees out there, I'll tell you. They're all over the place all over the road. Most people in the area were without power this morning. Yeah, this um, totally shocked me because I didn't think it was going to be, uh, I, I heard there was a wind warning, but nothing like this, but it was howling. Nearby traffic lights were also dark on busy Highway 9. Drivers were doing their best to be patient and pick their way through the intersection at 204. Power's out everywhere. Windstorm hit everyone really good. Uh, the worst part about it is since all the lights are down, Everyone's got to take turns coming through intersections. No lights are up. It's a little bit of madhouse. Cody Hemmingson had to turn around due to the downed trees on Davies. He said many businesses remained closed Saturday morning. Only one store has power, and so that's where everyone's getting gas. I had to wait 20 minutes to get gas this morning. Trees also took out lines at 42nd, where downed trees were very hard to see in the dark. And a tree blocking Lundeen Parkway had to be cleared before traffic could flow through that area as well. A car had reportedly gotten stuck on one of the trees that came down in the area overnight. Mick says despite the hassle he has to go through, it could be worse. The main part of the tree fell in between the two vehicles. I got lucky there. Like many who had damage overnight, Mick says his next step is calling the insurance company. Reporting in Lake Stevens, Jennifer Dowling, Fox 13 News.